So for your assignment, you can go through all the problems. Problem number 11, 13, 14 would be the assignment problems. And I uh, repeat, problem number 11 would be similar to your problem number 12, which I have already discussed in the previous video. The remaining uh, two problems, that is problem number 13 and 14, first you have to do primary distribution statement. The end amount that you get under primary distribution statement, you are going to take the same for secondary distribution, right? So please make sure that primary distribution statement you are going to take as per the basis of apportionment that I have already discussed in the previous problem. So the same methodology based on the same methodology you are going to find out primary distribution statement. After finding out primary distribution immediately in the next step you will formulate the simultaneous equation with the help of the uh, figures under service department. The total of service department you take that amount formulate the simultaneous equation after formulating simultaneous equation then you find for secondary distribution statement so this would be for problem 13 and 14 now problem 15 is about machine hour rate so what would be the rate for one hour uh, if you are going to use that particular machine in the production process. But when you are going to use machine, there are so many factors involved in it. So it's not just the machine. For that, you need power, you need certain repair charges, you do have wear and tear charges, you do have depreciation, you also use oil in between. So there are certain manpower used in between. So various expenses are involved in running a particular machine for the production process. So for this, we are going to calculate machine hour rate. All the expenses incurred in the process of running a machine for that, we are going to calculate machine hour rate. Under machine hour rate, we have two types of charges. One is standing charges and variable charges. So standing charge is nothing but fixed charge. Irrespective of any uh, uh, number of uh, units that you are going to produce, these charges are fixed. Whereas you have variable charges. Based on the usage, the expenses keeps changing. So fixed charge, for example, the rent paid for that particular machine would be the same, uh, you know, would be of the same amount irrespective of your usage. So similarly, if you use, you know, um, depreciation, depreciation would be based on the usage of the machinery. So greater the usage of the machinery, greater would be the depreciation, lesser the usage of the machinery, lesser would be the depreciation. So variable charges will vary as per the usage. Whereas standing charges would be fixed irrespective of number of units that particular machine is going to produce. So now we'll be solving problem number 15. So under problem number 15, uh, we will be having work of the machine hour rate for the following machine whose scrap value is nil. I be scrap value is nil. Cost of machine is 90,000. Other charges for freight and installation is 10,000. Working life of machine, 10 years. Working hours per annum, working hours. So totally for one year, this machine is going to work for 2000 hours. Repair charges is 50% of depreciation. Power consumption, 10 units per hour at five per unit. So 10 units for one hour, the power is, uh, I mean the power consumed by that particular machine is 10 units. And what is the cost? Per unit, it is 5. Power consumption, then lubricating oil, 120 per day of 8 hours. So for 8 hours, if it is rupees 120, for 2000 hours, what would be the amount? It's just a simple cross multiplication calculation. Consumable stores, 100 per day of 8 hours. Wages of machine operators, 400 per day of 8 hours. So first, uh, I have already given you the format of machine hour rate calculation in the uh, notes. So basically for machine hour calculation solution, take down the heading as calculation of machine hour rate. Calculation of machine hour rate. You will be having two columns. One is particulars, then amount. Amount has to be denoted in the form of rupees. So, 
how many columns you will be having you will be having two columns so under particular first heading would be fixed charges fixed charges so for variable charges uh, i'll be giving you a hint for variable charges you will be having only three types of charges d p r depreciation power repairs except d p r rest all would be coming under fixed charges so in machine hour rate calculation you have two types of charges fixed charges and variable charges under variable charges depreciation power and repairs can be considered and remaining all the expenses whichever you come across in the problem you are going to straight away put it under fixed charges so first in this problem um if you look into cost of machine it is for the calculation of depreciation other uh, installation charges is also for calculation of depreciation uh, this you would have already solved in financial management for depreciation you require cost of the asset installation charges working life of the machine and repairs i told you right repairs is variable charge which is going to be in the next part of the solution power consumption again it is variable charges next you have lubricating oil so i told you right except depreciation power and repairs whatever the expenses that you get it is under fixed charge so what is the first item it is lubricating oil lubricating oil they have mentioned on a per day basis so for one day that is of 8 hours it is 120 so for 120 is for 8 hours so what would be for 2000 hours is your calculation so therefore it's a simple cross multiplication 120 into 2000 divided by 8 cross multiplication so this you would be getting 30000 in your amount column right and next you have consumables so consumables is also similar to lubricating oil so what they have mentioned is 100 rupees per day so it is for 8 hours now what would be for 2000 hours so you are cross multiplying it is 100 into 2000 divided by 8 so which would be 25 1000 next you have wages of machine operators wages of machine operators so how much is the wage it is 400 so 400 for 8 hours and what would be for 2000 hours so the calculation would be 400 into 2000 divided by 8 and the answer would be 1 lakh rupees we have to calculate for 2000 hours because this entire problem is given on per annum basis and for one year the total number of working hours is 2000 hours so total would be 1 lakh 55000 so if it is for 2000 hours what would be for one hour so the standing charges or fixed charges standing charges per hour standing charges per hour would be 1,55,000 1,55,000 divided by how many hours it is 2,000 hours right it has been mentioned in the problem so 1,55 divided by 2,000 hours would be 77 rupees 50 paise so this is the standing charge per hour now the next part would be variable charges so variable charges i told you right we have got three items only one is depreciation power repairs so for depreciation what would be the formula for calculation of depreciation cost of the machine plus installation charges minus scrap value divided by life cost of machine plus installation charges minus scrap value 
divided by life. So what is the cost of the machine? It is 90,000. What is the installation charge? 10,000. And they have mentioned scrap value as a nil. I am taking it as 0 divided by 10. So it is 10,000. Right? 1 lakh divided by 10 is 10,000. So this 10,000 is for 2,000 hours. If it is for 2,000 hours, for 1 hour it would be 10,000 divided by 2,000. So it is 5 rupees. Then power. Power they have specified that as 5 rupees per unit. So 5 and uh, it is for 10 units. So it would be close to 50 rupees. Right? For every unit that is consumed by the machine, 5 rupees is being charged. And how many units has the machine consumed? It is 10 units. So 10 into 5, 50 rupees. Then repairs. Repairs, they have specified repairs as 50% of depreciation. It's quite simple. What is the value of depreciation just now we have calculated? It is 5 rupees. So 5 rupees into 50% would be 2 rupees 50 paise. So 2 rupees 50 paise. Now, what would be the total value? 77.5 include the standing charges standing charges plus depreciation power and repairs so the total stand out, stands out at 135 rupees so this is known as machine hover rate what is this known as machine hover rate so for one hour the machine expenses for the organization is 135 rupees which is inclusive of fixed charges and variable charges. So this is um, the simple problem which you can expect for section B. So this is problem number 15 as per your notes. You can solve the similar problems that is problem number 1 section B type question problem number 1 can be solved by yourself. It is similar to the problem whichever I have discussed in this video. Next video I am going to discuss about problem 3 which you can expect for section C. Thank you.